during your Gmetrics uh, training, you will find for the Excel 2016 expert exam, you will be expected to answer a question using Q functions. The question reads something like on the sales summary sheet in cell E2, place the, the best selling product um, across all three regions. You will find the all three regions is just misleading as it requires all the data. To do this, uh, I've checked the pivot table, the field names and where they've come from. And you need to use two cube functions. The first is a function called kubeset. Um, so when you write kubeset, the connection will be uh, written inside quotation marks. And we've got a connection already in place called this workbook data model. That basically means the power pivot window behind the scenes. The set expression. So this is where, again, if I open quotation marks, I can see I've got th two tables, markets and market table. And I've also got the measures calculations. And by checking the pivot table, I know it's the markets table period that has the product. And what I need it to do is actually read the names of the products, like bread and pastries and dairies and eggs, as you can see. And just to show this off briefly, if I type another period, uh, and I get the word all, and then a final period, I can actually see the names of the products that are going to be used. And one of these should be the answer to my question. Taking it back to the, the period before the word all, I want to physically read those words. So uh, a member expression called children is used. That will actually then read the actual words, uh, breads and pastries, etc. Comma, there's no caption, so I'm just going to do a set of quotes twice. It's optional, you should be able to leave it blank as well. But um, I'm going to carry on with the sort order, and this is where it gets interesting. The question talks about the best selling product. So you don't know how many products there are, but if you can sort them numerically in order, then the best selling product will always be, if you like, rank number one. If you sort it in uh, descending order, that will put, therefore, the best selling price at the top. If you do it in ascending order, you won't know the ranked position at the bottom of the data set, and therefore the top rank will be the lowest. It's a bit of weird logic here, but in descending order, uh, the sort order, what do I sort them by? If I open quotes again, this is where I will pick up the measures. And again, from looking at the pivot table, I can see the pivot table is using the sum of sales. By pressing enter, I will get a blank cell. In the square underneath, I'm then going to type the function cube ranked member. And what this will allow me to do is again, connect to the data uh, behind the scenes using the expression I've just calculated in E1. So in E1, in effect, is almost, again, the list of the product names in descending sum of sales order. So the one at the top is the best selling product. So therefore, I do a comma and the rank is one. Closing quotes, sorry, closing brackets. I should have vegetables. And the nesting trick to keep things easier is to simply highlight everything in the cube set and copy it. Paste it where you refer to E1 and then E1 is no longer needed. If you look at the formula, it's a horrible formula to read, but it's the cube rank member of this data uh, model behind the scenes using the cube set again. Lots of square brackets, lots of quotation marks. And as you begin to learn the cube functions, probably the weirdest thing is just to get your head around the, the, the word children um, when it comes up in some of the cube set functions. Thanks for your time.